So here's the science behind magnesium storage and requirements. So 60% of magnesium is stored in bones, 20% in muscles, 20% in soft tissues and fluids. So why you need it every four hours? Because magnesium plasma half-life is roughly four hours. So spacing intake keeps blood levels steady and improve absorption. If more magnesium is needed, add glycinate, malate, citrate, taurate, or even althreonate uh, morning, midday, and evening. Now keep in mind, there is some synergistic effects of other supplementation could be included, such as taurine, because it moves magnesium into cells and modulate calcium channels. You have vitamin B6, increases magnesium cellular uptake. Vitamin D3 improves intestinal absorption. You have boron, which is we're getting from borax, reduces urinary magnesium loss. And we have potassium chloride, which works with magnesium and sodium potassium pumps. Low potassium reduces magnesium retention. And here are some safety info for you guys. Borax Keep a total daily boron intake of about 10 milligrams in, in that range, unless supervised. So one eighth of a teaspoon of borax is about 56 milligrams elemental boron. I use it for specific reasons that it maintains high levels of magnesium for protein absorption, but to indirectly protect in arteries. And for the potassium chloride, avoid large doses. High intake can actually cause heart rhythm changes if not balanced. And for the Dead Sea salt, very high in minerals, so start very, very low to avoid excessive intake of certain trace minerals. Also, don't forget testing RBC magnesium and keeping it at 6 milligrams per deciliter or higher. That's the range linked to optimal cardiovascular, muscular, and neurological health. Cheers.